Police finding a severed human torso in a Knoxville man's car over the weekend. On Sunday afternoon, a THP trooper attempted to stop Dora Ray Johnson along I-40 for failing to stay in his lane of traffic. Shortly after, a chase followed, ending with a crash on Sutherland Avenue. Now, as troopers were assessing Johnson, who apparently had an odor of alcohol, and at the scene, well, they noticed a torso in the passenger side floorboard. From what they were able to determine at the scene, officers believe the remains were of those of a pedestrian who had been hit on the roadway. New here at 4 6 on your sides, Elizabeth Kubel is joining us live from Sutherland Avenue. Elizabeth, you've been on this all afternoon. What have you been able to learn? Well, Gabby, as you can imagine, that discovery, this story, it's shocking. It's sad to a lot of the people that we've been talking to here that work nearby the scene. We are on Sutherland Avenue right now. This is where that crash happened. The road was shut down for hours yesterday after that crash, as you guys mentioned, that killed a 65 year old man. We did shoot video yesterday of the incident, and I want to show that to you here. Arrest paperwork. We also got that today. It shows that around 3 30 Sunday morning, an Officer stopped Johnson for failing to maintain his lane on Interstate 40. As the officer walked toward the vehicle, the report says Johnson yelled out the window that he had to get to his family's home and then he sped off. Well, after a chase, the officer noticed Johnson smelled of alcohol and had bloodshot, watery eyes and was staggering. Johnson did admit that he was blitzed, according to that paperwork. When the officer went to turn off the ignition to the car, he spotted a severed torso in the passenger floorboard that was missing its lower half. The officer asked Johnson who was in the car with him, and he said the passenger and he had switched seats. The officer found the rest of the victim's body at the scene of the impact, including his wallet that did reveal his identity. Police are telling us it is Daryl Butler. Now again, as I mentioned, we are on scene right now. We are speaking to some of the people nearby where this took place. We will bring you their reaction in later newscasts. Until then, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6 on your side. Back to you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And of course, we will keep following and bringing you the very latest as it comes into our newsroom, as Elizabeth mentioned.